Hello everybody and welcome to the Sinking Ship Simulator. My name is Stardust0123 and I will be your captain for the day. I'm very excited to do this because there's been something on my mind. I've really wanted to answer one question in this game and that question is, can you build an underwater base in Sinking Ship Simulator? And I have tried to test this theory on numerous occasions, but the uh, the most recent breakthrough I had in this would be uh, just uh, just recently, just a few days ago. Let's turn the uh, water pressure back on there. But I want to give you guys sort of an intro on what exactly I mean by like an underwater base, because I mean there's difference between submarines and like um, things that are actually like deployed on the on the bottom and then have like uh, tunnels back up to the top and it's kind of fictional stuff. So I'd like to uh, just just make it clear what exactly I'm talking about here. So if we uh, if we load up a ship, we can. Um, well, and you guys can't actually see this page, but I can. Uh, let me load up the ship seven on on the tools bar or load bar, and and this is basically your your conventional ship that the developer has thrown in. And so we can uh, just turn the strength up, and then just turn the buoyancy down, turn the water pressure completely down. And, and basically, it, it just turns into a submarine. Um, hold on, let's just uh, let's just really get the ship down here. And come on, come on, don't let me destroy you with the forces of sinking ship simulator glitchiness. But yeah, this is this is basically what you consider kind of like a basic base is something that you can kind of you like a boat above surface, and then you can kind of just bring it down to the bottom. I guess that that's kind of considering or kind of considered in some sort of underwater craft, like a underwater base, but that's not exactly what I'm talking about. So let me load up one of the uh, the uh, more original designs I had for this. Now this, what you're seeing here, is a underwater base where there's a top ship connected to like a bottom part so you can connect it. And as you can see, there is some absolutely insane structural design flaws going on here. So let me just um, turn up the water pressure a little bit, just so I, I can fill the boats with some uh, some water, so I can I can make the the buoyant part of it actually kind of work better. But yeah, it's uh it's not working that well because in this game, the rigidity of items is not that impressive. Things will bend kind of like a lot over distances, and things tend to snap rather easily. So that's one of the problems in the game, and that's why I wish there was a rigidity slider on here. But there, uh, but there isn't, and I need to keep increasing the buoyancy so I can actually get the ship above the surface so it does not flood. Um, but yeah, basically this just kind of hangs in the air. I, I didn't quite make it long enough. Like, if I go on a shorter ocean depth, it's too long, but if I use on this one, it's, it's not long enough. So I kind of just like to keep it like that. But this is what it'd look like, except not filled with water. If we turn on the, uh, the highlight stress option, we can... Uh, we can see exactly that what's going on here is kind of like a lot of forces involved. And I'm not sure how the physics is actually calculating this because it seems that the inside is taking more than the outside. This is some sort of physics and, and geometry stuff I don't understand yet. But if we just kind of break these, it's, it's kind of fun to just break this stuff. You can see all the, uh, the different things and, and not have to worry about your ship suddenly disappearing. But yeah, I mean, just... By snapping some of this stuff, it just it really takes its toll on the uh, on the boat. Yep, it's kind of sagging. We just plop that apart, and then we can see the force on this. These uh, structural beams uh, appear to do more than the uh, the ropes do, because the ropes will snap under extreme tension, as such. Wow, that's actually kind of impressive how it's holding together that much. I wasn't actually surprised for that. Wow. So apparently this can't hold more than it than appears. Wow, how much can this rope do? This is like one insane rope here, guys. Hmm. Okay, well, apparently that rope is all happy. But I made a different version of this. I made the underwater base version 2, which has more supports kind of in the middle. Oh, oh you really got to turn the buoyancy down, or otherwise everything will kind of instantly snap in half. But yeah, you can see as things kind of start to get a bit bendy, they get a bit snappy, and things don't go very well, at least for the ship. So, 
That that's all fine and dandy down there. This is actually one of the better exercises I've done. Usually the thing, the whole thing, just kind of destroys itself. But this one was okay. I'm still trying to determine a way to fix it, but I haven't. So if you guys can build an underwater base that kind of looks like this, where you can have like an upper ship, and then you can have like another ship uh, on the bottom, or kind of like a like a base design on the bottom, please uh, upload it to a Dropbox and give me the link because I'd really love to check it out because I, I'm really enjoying this game, and uh, just kind of playing around with designs, but I don't think it's currently possible in the game to do this kind of configuration with it. You'd have to do something else, which I'm not sure. Maybe you could just use a lot of ropes instead of uh, the, the beams, and it wouldn't snap as easy, but um, I should probably try that out in the, in the future, but yeah. This wouldn't be very successful because all, everything here fills with water. But these tubes are actually still accessible, so you could get someone like down into these. But um, yeah, that, that doesn't work that well. And then you always got your uh, ooh, wave heights. Ooh, rocking back and forth. You can turn up the water pressure, make everyone scared. I could probably flood that upper boat. wonder what happens if I flooded the upper boat. Hey. Yeah, this upper boat is kind of like a, a design on its own. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. I just kind of threw it together in a little bit. Like, uh, this one is the original dev one I, I showed you in the beginning, but this one is uh, of my own design. It's not that great. I just kind of threw it together. So, yeah, we can, we can see everything, and it, it's how it's working. So, you know, snap, 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 snap chat. Uh, what? No, no. Do do do, just breaking everything apart, you know, kind of just chilling out and having a blast on Sinking Ship Simulator. I still recommend you guys to get this game if you haven't gotten it yet, because it is one of the most amazing games I have like ever played. Oh wow, did you see that that kind of motion? Look at those ropes really stretching. Wow. Hmm. And then there's always the uh, the game abuse button, which you can. Uh, yep, that's kind of actually really fun. So yeah, um, just uh, watching all the parts from the ship spray around. Um, yeah, so if you guys can do that, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.